Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon's Dogma with me, Bring It Down. So I was planning on going to the fortress first thing, but the quest log is actually taking us back this way. I don't remember that stage in the quest. So we'll head back there first, check it out, and then head to the fortress. There's another quest marker. All the way up here, but you don't have to go to that one. That I do remember. Keep watch for falling rocks as we walk the slopes, Master. We are apt to meet bandits and thieves as often as peddlers, Master. Be watchful. Who knows what lies in wait? Let's this isn't the way to the capital. Wonder where it leads. Nice little jaunt in this direction. <laughs> Find out where this path leads. Never forget constant vigil. A little bit further. Get them all. We could stay on this mountain. Right, these guys have respawned. going on down here? Let's help these guys out. Alright, let's pillage your pockets. Good enough. Missing my <laughs> blitz strike. Thanks, truly. They were of the southern bandits from the look of them. Worse than monsters, their kind. Thanks to you, I'm alive and whole. But those rats made off with all I had. Even took that magic book. Hmm. Have an interest in such tomes, do you? This was Salamet's grimoire. Seems it chanced to survive the blaze when the old council's library burned down. It is a rare and powerful tome, as I hear it told. So I bought it from a merchant of my acquaintance. If it truly holds such power, the likes of salvation would... Uh, it matters not. In any case, it is lost now to those damnable thieves. Next Arpard's cross, I'll take them for all they're worth. I 
feel more familiar with this quest now. We know where the Grimoire's gone. It is a start. Yep. Now we go to the fortress. Really need to take some time to practice parry. Not again, not that it really matters this early on since I'm gonna swap the three other vocations that don't have a parry. We're out to meet bandits and thieves. Best the warrior does have a parry ability. Be watchful. Best prepare to cut down a few thieves. Keep watch for falling rocks as we walk the slopes, Master. But either way we'll be doing mage and sorcerer before warrior. Then warrior, then mystic knight. I have a feeling it will also do all the range classes, uh, Ranger, Strider, and Magic Archer. But I don't need to for my build, so that all depends on how I'm feeling. We'll see two of those classes with my pawn anyway, uh, Strider and Ranger. It's a shame pawns can't be the hybrid classes. I was really hoping to have a Magic Archer pawn while I'm a Mystic Knight. Maybe Complement each other. Both, uh, magic hybrid classes. These are human footprints. Doubtful it was a friendly one. We walk in bandit lands. Best we gave them a wide berth, Arisen. The road splits here. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. A stronghold here. What could it be meant to defend? Huh? Okay, so they are peaceful. If you attack anybody, they will become hostile. I sense something nearby. A bird, perhaps, or bigger. This fort was built by a duke of old. I reckon it's worth investigating. It is definitely worth investigating. Let's speak with he who leads this battle. Take a look around before we go speak to him. I think we can get up here as well. Oh, I guess not. At least not yet. There are ways to get up there, we just don't have them with us right now. What does that do? Protection against fire. Right, that's the man we're here to speak to. I remember the layout of this place very well. Mind your steps, Master. This fort holds many twists and turns. Take care you don't fall, Master.
All right, there's Telepath's Grimoire. And the other way you do that is by doing the favor or some quests for the bandits, which we're still gonna do. But you can avoid it by just going up there and grabbing it. Hey, Mace. Oh, let's go speak to the bandit leader. And since that beach is fairly small, we'll probably check that out while we're here. Help clear out some of the map. I know I'm not being as thorough as I usually do when I play games. But we will, we will be there. Uh, we will be thorough in the future. Take it that way. I just find it easier to beeline for some of these quests early on, and then we can do our exploration later. Also helps because we get a bunch of experience for doing quests, so we level up a little faster and makes exploration a little safer. Aye, the Grimoire is here with me. Sadly, I've no mind to give it up, nor do I have want of your coin. Now, if there were aught I wanted, gold had failed. I would next try steel. Well. Have you the metal, sir? Aye, the Grim Warrior. Sadly, I... Now, if there were aught I... Well, have you... Alright, maybe I have to come back here after turning this quest. I may have messed up the order of things. So what I'll do is fast travel back... Well, let's do the beach first. Then I'll fast travel back turn in this quest and come back here and try and speak to these guys. Same. Dude, hope I didn't mess that up. The road splits here. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. I know there's a cyclops down here. I was looking for on the beach, but I guess he's not quite on the beach. Armed bandits are Where have you come here? So as you can see, carrying things makes fights a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, I really hope I didn't mess up the quest. I was hoping to do all the quests in a single playthrough, which is really hard to do in a blind playthrough, because I've played the, through the game before. 
a pretty good idea of what I'm supposed to do. Archer could have picked me off. Speaking of... <laughs> our task is done. Let us report our progress. And welcome back. I had to throw in an edit. The last checkpoint was when I looted that uh, chest at the top of the tower with Salamat's Grimoire. Oh, these guys are also aggro, it looks like, so we're gonna take out these archers first. Some of this health back. I can't see what's going on. Let's get out of there. So I see, I think that's a shield guy between the Cyclops legs. I see some of his health back, then I'm going to try to mount his head. You notice he has a metal helmet on? We can actually make him pull it off. It's a little too far away, it looks like. Oh, alright, never mind. <laughs> he lost it anyway. I'm gonna come back, then I'll try climbing him again. Not the best place to be hanging on, I don't think.
Alright, I'm actually safe down here, I think. I like to pull them out from those bushes. It's hard to see what's going on. But of course, they're gonna run back in. <laughs> I'm trying to climb him. He enrages. I'll run its leg to draw its ire. We must be caught. Can I move with one upon its leg? actually not the worst strategy to let, let him grab me like that because it prevents him from doing other actions and I'm guaranteed to get out of it. It gives my pawns a chance to get in there and do some damage. Alright, what does that do? Lens balance such that enemy attacks are less likely to stun the wearer. The stagger and knockdown resist, that's pretty good. This isn't awful on a mage, since it uh, covers enemies in oil, and then you just use Ingle or something to light them on fire. I think it synchronizes well. Uh, how's this compared to her current equipment? It's a better physical defense, worse magic defense, loses some piercing resist, gains some striking resist. And her elemental resistance goes up and debilitation resist goes up. So I think we'll equip this. It's also not upgraded yet. All right, let's go check out the beach, and then we'll fast travel back to Grand Soren. So Salamat's Grimoire, a legendary tome of potent magic. Any may wield it, but only once ere the book crumbles. So you can use that yourself. Not turn in the quest. I think I can make a forgery of it too. I don't know what the repercussions of that is. So you can almost always make a forgery. Actually, I think always make a forgery of a quest item and turn in the forgery. But sometimes there are repercussions. The reward won't be as good. And I don't recall what happens if you make a forgery of the book.
Let's return to Stefan to support Crystal Master. Seems this is where the merchants live. It is quite open. All right, sorry, I got turned around. Armors trade in a wide variety of weapons and defensive equipment. It will be easier going searching this area now. It's not the last. will fall upon this inn. These last years, two dead men seem to repairing worn fortifications, increasing the number of eyes on the watch. Grand Soren's not the largest of cities, sure, but its walls are well strong enough to keep the beasts out. All in all, at your pick, in your land. What will it be today? Understand? It's a morning, and then we'll take care of our stash, our inventory. I'm thinking, Salamat's Grimoire, I think it just causes a cast a spell. At your pick, in your land. So it's not worth using anyway. Let's go ahead and deposit some stuff. I don't think we leveled up our vacation yet either, right? Nope, still in level nine. These last years, all in all, have your pick, any you like. What will it be today? I have no reason to learn anything, right? I can't afford to anyway. Will it be to have your pick. Come again. At least not the stuff that I want. Some more escort quests. We'll hold off on that for right now. Though we do know how to get to Bloodwater Beach. Actually, let me check one more thing. These last all of them have your pick. Any what will it be today? All right, let's just go turn this quest. I think all it does is cast like that bolide, the meteor spell. Salomet was a scholar, the leader of a council of sorcerers. He was a genius, a luminary until the day he went mad. He put the fruit of the council's research to the flame and disappeared. I, geniuses are so all touched with madness. But enough of him. I care only about the tome he kept with him in his research. I would make it mine, sir. Even if it means sifting through the muck to find it. Yes, this is it. At long last, Salomet's grimoire is mine! It wears a humble look, but there's an aura of such power about it. It is a wonder. My thanks, sir. Truly, I must do art to repay this kindness. In the future, should we meet again. Alright, quest complete. Uh, next thing we're going to do is head back to the bandit camp. Which I think is faster from Sardis. Or 
or I guess the bandit fortress. It's a little bit more than a camp. They should have a couple quests for us to do. Not even the saltiest fishermen venture far from shore out here. The roads are safer than the brush, but still we'd best stay wary. Endeavor to be ever calm in battle. Bide your time, then strike. Goblin! There's no way we could have lost that. Perhaps we could avoid further battle. Well, that was worthwhile. In fact, and there were two levels ahead of our current pawns, it might be worth upgrading them. The Duke could stand to commission some new roads. Well sturdy this Oh, what quest is currently active? I have a quest marker active. For what? Uh, from a different sky one. Alright, I won't worry about those right now. I'm not going to progress to the next stage of the game until later anyway, so. Can't risk missing out on any of those as far as I know. Alright, do this real quick, then we'll call it an episode, and the next one will head back to the Bandit Fortress. Is everything in order now, sir? May I, I think something to do if the quest is active, or if you have the quest... Uh, for Salamat's Grimoire, you can't accept the quest from the bandit leader. It's in the way. Is everything in order, Master? May I... right, let's grab a fighter. Right, shield drawn, perfect defense, yes, fantastic. I am Welcome aboard. Primary skills, what do we got? Probably should have kept the previous pod then. Uh, I mean, we can make do with some of these. I guess we'll get Holy Boon instead of Fire. I'm not super excited about. There we go. High Anodyne, Spell Screen, and Holy Boon. That's okay. Back here. Ah. Okay, that's not bad. Yes, I am Wait, let me make sure I didn't misread that. Order, yeah, no, we're fine. Tent sits a rift stone. We 
are a vagabond people, born in a drifting world. We come from the encampment was a humble enough place before. It's not the worst idea. You can't find a pond that has what you want to drop at a level or two. Which I really shouldn't have got rid of the last pond that I had. She had everything that I wanted. High anodyne and I think fire affinity. It wasn't even fire boon. But either way, I'm gonna call it here. Our next episode we'll head back to the bandit fortress with our two new pawns, Cyan and Dinah. Or Dina in tow. And see if we can't do some quests for them. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.